All right, well, the mainstream media is not happy about Republican victories in the midterms, and it looks like they have found someone to blame. A recent Vogue headline asking the question, why do white women keep voting for the GOP and against their own interests? Here to react with that, Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor and president of the Independent Women's Voice. So, Tammy, I want to bring up this quote, and I'm going to have her react. Sure. This was in the, the Vogue article. We theorize and spitball. Are they so invested in their own white privilege they simply don't care about women. Then we have one more. As sure as black women have proven themselves to be the often underappreciated backbone of the Democratic Party, white women voters are establishing themselves as maddeningly, confusingly unsisterly. Unsisterly. Yeah. Adjust Look, that. Um, uh, this uh, article is uh, remarkable in its misogyny. These are arguments that might seem new to us, but they're uh, ageless. Uh, they've, it's been happening for millennia. Women have always been attacked when they don't conform or when they've been different, or when they've thought for themselves. It's that argument that misogynists and sexists have used for ages, right, for hundreds, thousands of years, to condemn other women. This is the mentality that established the Salem witch trials. Mm -hmm. Women who were also either single or using different kinds of medicine or were talking back. Uh, this is the framework that we're seeing, the irony of women who stand there and present themselves as supposedly the champion of women, condemning women for making choices that best suited them when I thought that was the entire point of the feminist movement. And now here they are using Vogue of all magazines to condemn women for being different, but it's also an attempt, I have to tell you, Katie, to, to try to divide women from the men in their lives, mm -hmm. to not be part of necessarily the family unit, their community, what's important for, for, their, for their own future, and to say, not even suggest, that if you don't think the way we think, and that's one of their other complaints, right. how do we get them to, to believe what we believe or to think cr properly or correctly? Uh, and that is to, in fact, look at the left and other women as their tribe, right. as opposed to their community as a whole. There's actually a feminist, feminist historian in here quoted saying that white women aren't voting essentially the way that we think they should right. vote. But the implication is that women who vote, regardless of their, their race, Mm -hmm. are, aren't thinking from themselves. They're simply right. listening to others. In this, they ask, are they parroting the Republican husbands and or brainwashed by Fox and Friends, to your point about misogyny? Well, and, and look, I mean, this is what even we heard from Hillary, right? Mm -hmm. Is that women were just doing what their husbands told them to do. So when you think differently, and this is what every woman listening really, and this is why they hate, of course, these conversations, is that y you can think for yourself, that you should think about your family's future, and that here you've got women trying to show shame them or make them feel guilty for not, ironically, conforming. Right. Uh, and so this is it. It's the argument and the misogyny in that, in that if you do think for yourself, we are going to call you mindless or brainwashed or not your own person or in the control of someone else. We have come too far. It's a 21st century. And this is what the Republican Party needs to recognize as well. Those women will hear a, an argument about the conservative ideal. They will think for themselves. They do all the time. But the Republican Party and Donald Trump, the new GOP, mm -hmm. uh, needs to step up. Uh, on Tuesday, it was the old GOP that lost those women. Those women want legitimate arguments about health care, right. uh, national security, safety and immigration. And the Republican Party is the one that's going to give it to them. All right. Tammy Bruce, well said. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Appreciate it.